Puerto Escondido is especially known for its surf spots and the nightlife that draws backpackers from all around the world. However, there is so much more to do and to see here, so in this video I will show you the most beautiful sunrise and sunset, quiet beaches and I will tell you of my meeting with baby turtles. We arrived on bus from Mexico City and because I was still jet lagged I didn't mind arriving at 5 in the morning. We knew that our hostel wouldn't allow check-in until the afternoon, so we decided to walk the 25 minutes from the bus terminal to Cicatela, the most famous beach, and enjoy the sunset there before having breakfast. There's something absolutely magical about being at a beach at dawn. When the sun slowly rises, the cafes and shops are waking up, and people arrive for a morning run in the sand. I love being in the mountains and cities as well, but nothing really beats the sound of ocean waves when you're almost alone at a beach. I'm not a morning person, absolutely not, but watching the sunrise in Cicatela that day made me think that I should get up early more often to watch the beginning of the day. But well, who am I kidding? One of the coolest things you can do in Puerto Escondido is to liberate baby turtles. There are a few different spots where you can do that. We went to Playa Bacocho, that is around 30 minutes walking from downtown Puerto. That is taking place every day at 5 p.m. At first you pay the entrance, which is more of a donation to the project that educates people on animal life in Oaxaca and rescue sea turtles. Then they give you some information on the turtles and why they're in danger. The Olive Ridley turtles are especially of concern because of their vulnerability, so many volunteers, NGOs and government agencies put a lot of effort into their protection. Then everybody gets a small coconut shell with a baby turtle that is just one hour old. After befriending it and giving it a name, you let it go. Once you get closer to the beach, someone will draw a line into the sand, which marks the spot where you let them waddle into the water. That is important because the babies need to learn by themselves how to make their way into the ocean. All in all, the experience was great, even though your responsibility is obviously quite limited. The main idea of the project is to educate people and give them a hands-on experience on marine life in order to make decisions that keep the well-being of animals in mind. And I think that's a great thing. We were told that pelicans love to eat baby turtles, so they learn every day at 5 p.m. A bunch of tourists let many of them into the ocean without protection. Sometimes they manage to eat a few of them. Luckily, this didn't happen to our turtles. The most famous beach in Puerto and one of the most popular ones in all of Mexico is Cicatela where you find the world famous Mexican pipeline. During high season, which is between May and September, surfers from all around the world are visiting Puerto to experience the waves that are created through some underwater formations. But even for swimmers, this beach is perfect to take a swim and relax in the sun. As you can imagine, with such a high popularity, you can get amazing food in Cicatela in one of the many restaurants. The food at El Cafecito is especially sought after with people lining up in the mornings to get breakfast. You can of course also get local Mexican food, especially in the center of Puerto. Whenever they need a workforce, they even let gringo tourists like myself take over. If you think I did a good job, please consider liking this video and subscribe to not miss future content like that. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy the tortilla I made myself. About an hour away from the center of Puerto is one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Mexico. Just take the way near the bus terminal, right across from the guy chuckling machetes to Santa Elena El Tule. From there, take a taxi to Agua Blanca. If I remember correctly, the van cost 40 pesos or $2 per person. 
and a taxi 100 pesos or 5 dollars for the entire trip. Almost everything about the beach is perfect. The sand was so soft and clean, the water refreshing and because I was a bit far away from Cicatela, it was also pretty quiet and peaceful. On the way back, we didn't find a taxi, so we just put a thumbs up and jumped on the back of a pickup truck. Everyone kind of advises you not to use that form of transportation, but I must admit that it was a fun experience. And now it's time to leave Puerto Escondido. If you want to check out a different beach in the same state of Oaxaca, please check out my video on Huatulco.